the Hawaiians are a very tough and resilient people. And they traveled thousands of miles over open ocean to get here. And for over a hundred generations, they lived peacefully up until the time when Captain Cook arrived. And then the missionaries came to teach about God that was not good for our people, like the diseases. We don't see often um, the extreme poverty, the uh, oppression of culture and cultural identity in people. Um, I had no idea that the term Hawaiian was potentially as offensive as the term Indian to the Kanaka people. Um, so definitely educational for me to watch this as well um, and to see just how much these people have been oppressed by America um, even now with people in extreme poverty, unable to uh, pay the cost of living in Hawaii. It's, it's so high um, because of, you know, rich billionaire Americans buying 700 acres of land there, crazy big houses um, and pushing the real native Ho like Hawaii people out. Um, it was amazing to hear from Kena and see his efforts to, to keep his culture alive and re-educate the youth of Hawaii. Um, the resilience of Kanaka people was amazing to see, you know, hearing them say, they will never get rid of us. We're always going to be here. It was so cool um, and so powerful to hear and to just see how they're keeping the culture alive and re-educating and bringing it back from where it was, where, you know, American people originally tried to stomp it out, tried to ban the hula, ban the language, but it survived. And I think that is so cool that they are bringing it back and um, they are so resilient oppression and the discrimination and the the like blows to their culture and their population and everything else that goes along with it and really expanding on this idea of what you think about a place especially one that's so visited by like tourists and vacationers and what that place really is to the people that actually live there and are from there and are a part of that is so very different and really expanding on this idea that what gets shown to the media what gets kind of you know hyped up and you know gets the kind of glossy pretty pictures of resorts and snorkeling and all of these different things the reality between what gets shown and what gets kind of marketed and what the re what it is really to live there and be a part of that community be a part of that legacy that history um, are two extremely different things so i thought this was such a great way to really tell the history of this these islands of these people of this culture and how much they've gone through and also what they're trying to do to make sure that that culture that ancestry doesn't ever actually disappear cinematography alone was stunning the all of the overhead shots of hawaii everything was just so beautiful and the subject matter was so important um i loved the voiceover that was added in here and the film itself was so informative learning about the indigenous people of Hawaii and parts of it were really heartbreaking to know about the injustices that were forced on them. Um, it's nice to see that the native language is being spoken again. So all of this was really, really great. I loved it. I really liked it. I thought, you know, I've always heard about like, okay, you know, the U.S. annexed Hawaii you know, imperialization, colonization, um, mistreating their home people, you know, taking over their land or whatever. I'd always heard about it, but this made it more real for me. And I think, like, it gave me a new perspective and a new appreciation and a new understanding for what happened and, like, how bad it was and also, like, what how it's still happening and the lasting effects and all of that, like, really broke it down in, like, a clear way uh for i think a general mass audience can understand it and i think that's kind of the idea it seems like that's kind of the goal for a documentary like this 
um, to like make it very real for people. Um, like it's different when you see the tourism, you always hear, oh, the tourism in Hawaii, but then the people, like I've heard that concept before, but this made it like visually visceral for me. Like, so you could see like, cause when you cut from, you know, fancy hotels and like resorts and stuff to people sleeping on a bench, it's very real, you know what I mean? Um, so I think, and like, that's the strength of filmmaking and that's why you make a documentary like this. And how this documentary shines a light on the issues happening around the world, in, especially in Hawaii. I also love how we are taken directly into the lives of the individuals that the story affects, in which helps in like these individuals help bring light and fun to the ones around them instead of bringing any anything dangerous or or bringing like a harsh environment towards them but showing love and creativity i also love how that the story was pretty engaging and emotional which allowed me or any of any viewer to actually connect with the people of hawaii and the people that are being interviewed